Tesla has just launched its solar and power wall lease program. This could be a good idea. Now here in Australia, I know Resync Solar, the company who installed my battery at my solar panels, they also do a similar program where you can essentially rent your solar. And that can be really good for a lot of homeowners to reduce their bills. But Tesla has introduced a major new financing option designed to make its solar and home battery systems more accessible than ever before. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. If you haven't already subscribed to our newsletter, make sure you do so. I'll put a link in the description below. You're not going to see most of our videos on YouTube. They're just not going to be shown in your feed otherwise. Tesla has introduced a major new financing option. I think this is a good idea. They've officially launched a new lease program in the United States that bundles solar panels and a power battery system together for what Tesla says is its lowest monthly payment. Not a Tesla app says that this addresses the largest hurdle for many homeowners considering a switch to solar or home backup, which is the high upfront cost. And it's true, there is a high upfront cost. So being able to not have to pay that high upfront cost is a really good idea. The new lease program has an upfront cost of only 600 US dollars. By shifting the financial model from a large capital purchase that pays for itself over a decade or more to a manageable monthly lease payment, Tesla significantly lowers the barriers of entry. And Tesla does something else, which is very interesting. I'll get to that in a minute. This is a very smart move from Tesla, and I don't think people realize what's actually really happening here. Beyond their lower initial cost, the new lease program includes a 95% system availability guarantee that remains in effect for the entire term of the lease. If the system's availability drops below 95%, customers will be eligible for a credit. Why would the system not be, el not be working all the time? I mean, 95%. Why are Tesla using it for 5% of the time? Yeah, <laughs> you can see what's going on here, can't you? The lease covers all included maintenance for the solar panels and power wall, which includes inverters and batteries, two common items that may need to be replaced during the system's life, says not a Tesla app. Now, the truth is the batteries are very unlikely to need to be replaced, so I don't agree with those claims. The lease term for solar panels and power wall is 25 years but the buyer can buy out the system after five years for a fair market value, which is similar to that of Tesla's vehicles. While the lease rate is, um, you know what it is, right? Tesla includes a 3% annual escalator, which is in line with standard inflation increases. The cost of the lease will be dependent on the size of the system and will vary from home to home. So it's hard to really say what the price is going to be for one individual homeowner. Leasing for five years is a good option as it allows homeowners to try out the system before committing to a purchase. But the unknown cost of buying the system after the initial five year period is kind of challenging. I think you need to know what it's gonna be. I think it'd be hard to commit to getting this done unless you know what the buyout term is. The lease term runs 25 years as well, so it's a pretty big commitment because Someone else, if you might, you might decide to sell your house within 25 years, and then that person would take on that lease. Although, to be fair, it's still going to probably save them money overall, so that might not be an issue. An important feature of the new program is the performance guarantee. For the full term, Tesla guarantees the system will have at least 95% availability on average, calculated every two years throughout the term of your lease. If the system does not meet this guarantee, Tesla will provide compensation as outlined in the lease agreement. A lease for solar plus Powerwall or solar comes with a 25 year term while a Powerwall only lease comes with a 12 year term. At the end of the lease, the lease ha leasee has the option to renew the lease for an additional five years, purchase the system outright, or have Tesla remove the system for an additional cost. When selling a home, the sellers will have two options. They can either transfer the lease agreement to the new buyer or buy out the system if it has been in place more than five years. This is one of the main issues, main problems with solar systems whose lifespan can last up to 40 years. It can make selling a home more difficult or forces users to buy the system at a price higher than they would otherwise, says Not a Tesla app. Now, if you are eligible for financial or tax incentives for a solar and battery backup system, Tesla retains ownership of the hardware and claims any available federal or local tax credits. The lease program 
is another option for owners to access Tesla Energy. It also makes Tesla competitive against other leasing programs on the market. By removing the primary obstacle of high upfront costs and adding the security of included maintenance and performance guarantees, Tesla is making a strong push to accelerate solar adoption, says not a Tesla app. Now, I agree with this, but I kind of feel like maybe Tesla is using this as an option, a way to get into the electricity generation market. I think a lot of owners will probably end up um, using these systems in a Tesla virtual power plant, which is good for them. It's good for Tesla, but Tesla will make a bit of a, a profit on top of this, like being an electricity retailer. And Tesla's already doing this in the UK. Uh, I think the virtual power plant thing is smart because Tesla's big advantage versus what well, basically everyone else in the electricity market is their software, their energy arbitrage software, which is capable of calculating all this stuff. And the truth is, there's all these apps right now that can do this for you. Like you can you can trade energy uh, here in Australia using a certain electricity provider. But and this, these apps as well exist in the US, but none of them work perfectly. None of them do. None of them work as well as how as well as what Tesla is able to get these systems to work using their arbitrage, using their basically their software. And I think that's one of the big advantages that Tesla has. So if millions of people have Tesla systems on their homes, Tesla can you know have virtual power plants and both the homeowners can get a discount, but Tesla can make some money on top. It's sort of a, a way for Tesla to get subscription fees like Netflix and then make money on the subscription itself. It's pretty smart. What are your thoughts, guys? Let me know in the comments. I'm not being uh, cynical here. I think it's actually smart. It's good for homeowners and it's good for Tesla. Thanks for watching. The Sydney EV International Motor Show. If you want to get a 50% discount on your tickets, all you got to do, click the link in the description and use the promotion code that's in the description. Just copy and paste that. Now I should mention there's only 200 tickets available per day. So if you go to use the promo code and you can't get a ticket, wait till the next day. Don't wait until the day before the show to get your tickets because otherwise you'll probably miss out on getting the 50% discount.